Hello and welcome to 100 Days of Summer. I'm Christine Prage. Thanks so much for joining me. Well, I hope you had a great weekend uh, and, and took some time out to sharpen your axe and, and prepare for, for another charging week. Um, pardon the pun. Today we're talking about energy. And we're going to start with that, that foundation layer of the technology layer cake, probably the most important. I remember being first introduced to energy as a kid um, when I <laughs> opened the fridge door and there was no light bulb. And I stuck my two fingers in and I thought, what do these two little buttons do? Well, as the, as the energy jolt threw me across the wall and smacked me against the wall, uh, much to my mother's shock and horror, thinking that I'd fried myself. Fortunately, I just got a shock, and it, and, and, but it was a tough lesson in energy and how that, it can, how that can hurt us. And, but what is this imaginary stuff that can, can do this to us? Well, I, I fair to say I, I've spent many years now working with energy safely, uh, and now, it's, now I have a much better understanding of, compared to when I was two. In the context of events, in the context of the games, in the context of a big multi-sport events, energy is one of the most important components, not only for technology, but for the whole venue. We've got so many de people depending on energy to deliver the services. And, and we'll deal, dip into some of those as we go through this energy journey over the next few days. But I thought I'd start with the very basics in the sense that what do we think about energy? We have to think about the big energy ecosystem. And that starts with generation, then we think about transmission. So generation, sorry, is thinking about power stations. So we've got nuclear power stations, we've got hydro power stations, we've got coal powered, steam powered, every different type of uh, energy production facility. When we think about wind power, we think about solar power, we think about all of these renewable energies. So generation is a whole other topic, but it is important to think where does the journey start for energy? Then we think about transmission. We think about transmission as the big power lines. These are the ones that carry it across the countryside um, into the cities. Then we think about distribution. How does it get distributed from the grid into the substations and the, into, into the transformers? And finally, it gets distributed into our event facility, into our venue. And then we distribute it to the outlets where we have the device. And why is it important to understand this whole journey? Well, that whole journey is very critical because once any energy is generated, we don't typically have a lot of ways of storing it. And so therefore we have to really think about that end user device. What is that device going to consume? Because that then we can calculate, add up, and then to, to, to do a massive <laughs> piece of work in estimating how much energy we're going to need to draw on the venue. And this then gets fed into not only generation systems like generators, but also the, the local grid, the local power company. So there's quite a complex piece behind just, just estimating and calculating how much energy we're going to need just to run our venue. Not just about thinking about how we plug our phone in or how we plug our laptop in or what are the other devices we need. Uh, we need to think about it holistically. And so we do that as a starting point and the journey for, for energy. I'm going to dip into those little topics and we're going to go a little bit more into how we do the estimation, how, the, how we need to think about it. Because as an event organizer and someone who's building an event, you need to really think about energy probably as your, one of your key foundations. And then thinking about, well, how can, I, can, how can I save? How can I conserve energy? Because obviously, this is one of the big factors which feeds into our sustainability strategies for anyone who's delivering major events. So, that's energy. We're going to go a little bit further over the next coming days. I'm Christian Page. Thanks for joining me. This is 100 Days of Summer. And wherever you are in the world, please stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now. <laughs>